Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. Uh, in today's video, I took a clip from this morning's stream. Uh, it was a question on how I make entries based on level two, uh, what I'm looking for, and kind of how I gauge level two to trade. So uh, this is an excerpt from today's video and I hope you enjoy. Uh, Lola, Brad, can you please go over how you use level two ask bid to time your entries? Okay, so normally, and this is overextended now, um, but I will look at say this 32K bid. Uh, if I wanna enter say 5,000 shares, I will wait to see this thing start to get eaten, which is getting walked down now. But I would wait to see the ass start to get eaten down so I know that it's real and I know it's getting smaller and then take a position. At the same time, I wanna see a bid underneath here to catch me. So if I need to get out, I can get out. So let's say, See, now it's looking negative, the way it's moving down. But the way it was set up, 238 was on the ask, and there were two bids at 236 and 235. That's my exit point. And usually I'll wait, like I said, for it to start getting eaten, for the ask to start getting lower and like almost be destroyed before I'll enter. And um, that's where I miss the time. Sometimes it's a little bit delayed, or I'll, I'll, I'll say, oh, I missed it just then. You hear me say that a few times when I'm trying for a trade. But uh, that means that the ass got eaten quicker than I could click the button. But they're walking this thing big down now. So right there, I just tried to time it up. The ass was starting to get eaten. And you see I have some bid support underneath. Uh, may end up getting out for even here though. Yeah, they just keep stacking the ass now. Yep, I got out. Put the commentary. So you mean like make a, another YouTube video? Sure. Yeah, I, I like making these shorts out of the videos so I can, you know, it's a quick cut. You guys can reference back to it a lot easier. But that's kind of what I'm looking for. It didn't work exactly in that scenario, but if you see a big ass walking down and keep walking down, keep walking down, and then it finally slows down and it stops, usually you can buy that ask up when it starts getting hit and you'll get a few cents on it. This one specifically did not work because it's got like a ton of selling pressure for some reason. But uh, that's basically what I'm looking for when I'm trying to time entries or use level two to get in. I wanna see an exit point on the bid side but I wanna see an entry point on the ask. So like right now, for example, I would rather wait to see it go through 230 than 229. Because 230 is like the whole psychological number with smaller ask above when 229 uh, isn't really as important because you got 230 coming up next. So like right here, for example, uh, you would look for an entry if it started getting eaten on 230. I've got, it's like $64 a month. Uh, I don't have futures, I don't have OTC, but I think I have all the books. For the data package. So this will be an example of it right here. If, if the ass doesn't refresh, you see it go down like to 20 or 30, try to sneak in on that volume push through. I think it might be the total view. I think it might be, JD. RKT. See, so 230 didn't have the ass lowering. It wasn't getting eaten at all. And now we're walking down. 